Hey guys, John here with Knife Making Tuesday week 15. Uh, this week's not going to be nearly as long as last week's video, which is like 45 minutes, my longest video yet. But I just want to thank everyone for all the wonderful comments and support and suggestions and uh, all the comments that I got. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, this week, I uh, don't have a lot of time being that it's Valentine's Day and I had to babysit a lot today and it's already 9.30 p.m. and I'm just getting out to the garage for the first time. Um, but since I was inside babysitting, she slept for a good three hours today, which was awesome. I uh, got to spend some time on the computer, CAD, tweaking, making code, and all that stuff. So today, it's going to be a lathe day. Uh, lately, I've been working on the lathe a lot. I've been making, well, the past two, three days, or whatever. I made uh, this pulley for my milling machine. I made a bunch of other ones similar to that. I'm going to be posting a video soon if I haven't already done that. So this week, with my limited time, I'm going to play with uh, titanium round bar. Got three eighths as the big one, and these little ones are um, quarter. And I'm going to turn them on my CNC lathe into spacers and standoffs, and my little barrel nut thingies. And uh, I'm going to uh, modify the pivot pins that I got from Alpha Knife Supply, which are awesome. I highly recommend them. Uh, but they come super duper long, so I got to shorten them and I got to dome the pivot or the um, the dome, whatever it's called, because they're pretty chunky. So I'm going to do that and uh, shoot some video on Z lathe. And it's not going to be nearly as long as last week, but that's okay. So the first thing I did was I changed the insert on my turning tool. It's a 35 degree uh, quarter inch IC tool here. This one, this shiny, shiny one is for cutting aluminum, which works really awesome. And then I just put in a uh, tin coated, basic, uh, run of the mill, good for steel, titanium, stainless, whatever. This one, uh, this silver one here is pretty brittle for using uh, for harder metals. There's that freaking problem I've been having again. The machine just goes nuts. Anyway, luckily it was at the end of the part. <laughs> so I got two done. Uh, the first one looked like it deflected quite a lot. So we'll see how that worked. The second one looked like it worked okay. Alright, so far I've made seven pins and I've finally got the right tolerances and right dimensions that I'm looking for. And parts are looking really good. So let's uh, let's hit go and start it again. So I've got the tool backed off here to a uh, known location. I loosen the stock, pull it out until it hits the tool, tighten it, put the key away, and now we're ready to go. So let's zoom in and see how it works. Now I'm going to be spraying this with a blast of compressed air uh, to keep it nice and cool because I don't have flood coolant going, so here we go. Not bad. Now I gotta find the part down in this pile of chips at the bottom here. And when I do, it'll look exactly like the one I just showed you. So now that I have everything zeroed and perfect, 
I'm just going to bang off a bunch of them so that they're all perfect. Because if I change anything or wait and do more later, I'm going to have to spend another hour re-zeroing everything, <laughs> making sure everything's perfect. So uh, yeah, I'm going to bang off a bunch of these and then move to the thumb stud and then uh, something else. Can't remember. All of these are wrong. These were all learning experience. I haven't counted them, but there's a lot. However, all of these are right. So I've got, I think, 17 here, which will let me put together five knives for this particular part. And I just tried out a thumb stud design. I made a... I don't know, one of these. Where'd it go? This one. That was my first little test, and it needed some tweaking. And then we made this one and anodized it. And that turned out awesome. Anodized 28 volts blue. Looks wicked. Put it onto the knife. Oh, oh yeah, it ties it together. I think it's a little taller than I want it to be. But. So I might make it a little bit shorter. <clears throat> but it looks sweet. And then the back side will need to be drilled and tapped, and I'll do that on the milling machine. Same for these. I'm going to drill and, and these won't be tapped, but I'll drill these on the milling machine, and this will be drilled and tapped. And now I just got to make some backspacers. They'll be similar to what's in there right now, but bigger and out of titanium. So I'm going to make that next, and hopefully that works out well. That last little bit of code was my uh, spacers, or standoffs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the first few that I made were quite a bit off-center, if you can see that. I used two different tools, and one of the tools was not, uh, not lined up compared to the other one well enough. Then I made these ones, and they're still a tiny little bit off, but I just changed the code, and now it should be better. So right now I'm going to anodize those guys blue, just like this thumb stud. And uh, mock them together in the knife. You can see I've got one placed in the back. Pretty awesome.